Well, my goodness, morning musings from the tiny little studio on this tiny little Greek island, and I had some connection trouble. So I came on, started talking, had this flow going, and then no connection. Everything stopped. Uh, and I had to shut down. I had to go and shut down my internet and turn it back on and do the whole, um, the whole reconnection thing. I have no idea why that happened. Uh, but perhaps what I was talking about, in fact, was not what I needed to talk about. <laughs> Who knows? A glitch. So in the past, I... I was never very good at the glitches and uh, got too flustered, uh, sometimes angry, frustrated, uh, apathetic even. And, um, you know, those are all kind of uh, elements of the same thing, right? Uh, when you just react to something without understanding, like this little internet thing here that I have, <laughs> like it's the internet's fault. Um, somebody has to be to blame uh, for the discomfort in my life. And I noticed that... Um, Again today, uh, when this thing happened, and I want to be here on time, and I want to be uh, uh, in my groove and in my flow and at my best, but I noticed that it, as time goes on, I don't get caught up in the glitches anymore. Do you know what I mean? Like this happened and it's like, oh, okay, what needs to be done? And then I acted on that, on what needs to be done. And rather than uh, flipping out <laughs> and getting angry and frustrated, because what will that do for me? right? Will it really do anything for me in this situation? And it's a minor one, right? Okay. It's, uh, for most of you that watch this, these morning musings, it's in the middle of the night for you. So you don't watch them until you wake up in the morning anyways. So big deal if I'm 10 minutes late. Um, but I have, you know, my standards and I have my routine and, uh, I, I, I don't want that to be upset. I don't want things to happen. And things always happen because they must, because that is the meaning of our everyday lives, is that things change. Yes, things change always. And perhaps rather than getting caught up in the of it, the glitches of it, getting angry and frustrated, which then just messes everything up anyways, perhaps it's just better to come into that creative channel, into your creative self and just assess the situation in calmness, which means that you're present and work with what you can do in the moment. So what I could do in the moment was shut it all down and start it back up again. And I lost a few minutes. Maybe I would have lost the day. Okay. So if that happened, then that happened and I would deal with it. Uh, so um, again, the whole philosophy is cultivating as much space in here, in this creative pathway, in your chakra blueprint, in your, you know, um, uh, uh, 
means of coming to a state of presence so that you can work with the more subtle energies happening through you. For me, it's creativity. I call it the creative energy. Other people will call it something else, but it is the uh, moment of inspiration and bringing it down and uh, acting on the information and the inspiration that, that you get, whether that's cleaning the kitchen or washing the clothes or driving to work or getting to the right store to get the products that you need. It's all going through the same process. So the more you work with it, it becomes automatic. And the more automatic it becomes means that the more present and calm and together you are. I think that's what it means for me. That's that's how I I live it. Like years ago, a few years ago, before I really started working on this pathway, on working on me, <laughs> taking the time and the energy and the care to uh, to love me, um, I would have flipped out. I would have, you know freaked out. And the more I freak out, of course, the more I can't actually solve the problem because I am not present anywhere. There's no connection to anything. All I'm doing is diving around and swimming in that cesspool of anger, of uh, rejection, of guilt, of shame, and blech. And who wants to be in there, right? I mean, we can, we all go there. We all go there. And that's not the problem that we go there. The problem that we can solve individually is how are you going to become present when you're down in that that area? How are you going to uh, uh, move into the next moment If you're down there, if you're not present, that you're even in that place. So maybe it's a matter of becoming present that you're in that place so that you're able to pull yourself out and refocus and move in, act on the next available um, step that you are able to do, that you are able to accomplish, that you are able to um, uh, push through your first chakra to manifest it in the world. And that's what I did. (laughs) And it was a tiny example, but it was a good one. And it just keeps reminding me and uh, and feeding me. So um, aside from the philosophical stuff, Uh, We've got lots to do today here in the studio. As you can see, I am uh, refurbishing my old paintings, the ones that have been sitting around in my little storage area for a long, long, long time. And uh, because I don't live next to an art store and I can't just go and buy art products whenever I feel like it, I thought it would be a good idea to take, you know, these started paintings. This is Peggy, our chicken, <laughs> which uh, is just like a very rough first later layer, but um, I don't like it enough to finish it. It's not, the composition isn't good. Uh, it's, um, I could fix it, yes. But I might just refurbish it, right? And take these old paintings and make them new. There is a painting under here. And why on earth throw it out? It's perfectly fine material. These are the MDF boards that I have, uh, which are the medium dense um, fiber something. Forgive me for not knowing um, MDF boards. 
and there's uh, uh, that style, and then there's also the hardboard. The hardboards are uh, probably better, better, but these are great for studies when I go outside, plain air painting. So I can use these again. And I did a video on it yesterday and uploaded it to uh, my YouTube channel. You can check it out there. It's a quick tip video. It's like, what, four and a half minutes or something. And um, there's two different ways. You can also see uh, those are other paintings there. Uh, see, you can see that there's stuff underneath. There's uh, darkness, right? So um, it's just painting over and uh you know a couple of little tricks on how to do that and you can uh revitalize uh your canvases so i've got that on my plate today and 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 um starting my new mini course on the wonderful fabulous most incredible notan uh yeah the no tan and why it's important and that it's super easy and that it's something that um will really connect us it will really connect you to the whole creative process and once you get and once you get it right the no tan thing once you get it uh it's really only a couple of minutes of of your time to actually communicate that abstract idea out to communicate what it is that you want to paint with just a dark and a light and so it creates an abstract shape and you do little thumbnail sketches of this and one of them will make you smile and if one of them doesn't make you smile you keep doing little note hands until you find one that makes you smile. One of them you will connect to. One of them will be like, ooh, that one. I like that one. Because the abstract design will be pleasing to you. And if it's pleasing to you and you start your painting in that way, your painting is going to be pleasing to you. It will turn out. Even if it's badly painted, there will be something there that has an energy to it, that is exciting, that 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 works so uh that's the next step in um in my teaching the things that i teach uh the first is coming to a primary limited palette i have that course up there is still a sale on it there's a discount on it uh, uh, and then I go through the whole um, blueprint, the chakra blueprint, so that you can understand this creative channel and how it works from the idea down to the painting. Uh, and I have that mini course up. That has its, uh, the discount will end on Monday. So anybody wants to check that out, um, I'll put it in the links below and you can, uh, you can go look. And um, so those are all the things that I've got going. Not too bad, not too bad. And spring cleaning is in the air. My daughters are coming in a couple of days. And uh, so uh, there's lots going on. Spring is here, flowers are out. It's March, we've got sunshine, and then it's cold and rainy. You know how it goes in March. Wishing you all a beautiful day. Be inspired. Be creative. Be you. Have a beautiful day, everyone.